Hey, what's up guys? Welcome in this new video. Today it's Flight Talks. So yes, this, this video will be in English because I think uh, it's better when I do only one video. It, it's better it's in English. Uh, also, it does more views. <laughs> so today I'm flying my brand new Yuna from San Sibir and my beautiful TX16S from Radio Master. This thing with the six uh, trims is just a beast to set up this kind of stuff. It's just so much easier. I love it. So, and now it's all wet because I just test flew uh, this glider a bit. And uh, so it's only my third time flying it. And uh, I think the settings start to be there. Um, so yeah, I, I will just show you and we'll talk a bit about my first impression about this glider. So let's go, everything is working. So it's about a quarter past nine right now, a.m. And look like my engine braking is not working really well. Okay, props now is uh, on the fuselage. It's not turning anymore, spinning anymore. I should say maybe and look like there is a thermal right here so what are my first impressions about the Yuna so uh, first of all I'm not used to fly this kind of glider at all um, uh, usually I fly S3Ks and <laughs> yeah it's for me it's a big glider it, it's not small for people who usually fly a 5J, this is maybe a small glider because it's only 2.65 meters wingspan. But for me, it's freaking big. Don't stall. Okay. I don't want to stall above the bush. <laughs> I will try to catch that. And um, I think my CG moved back because of the water on the tail. Uh, but it's okay right now. Look like it's okay. So yeah, for me it's quite a big glider. It's quadro flaps. It doesn't respond as I'm used to at all. It needs to be flown different as uh, compared to what I'm used to. It's not the same speed of flight. It's not the same diameter of turns. It's it's really really different compared to what I'm used to But it's not too different. It's still a good size uh, It's not too big for me. I, I don't like four meters wingspan glider. I said it already I think in a video quite a few months ago, maybe a year ago already um, Maybe more <laughs> so yeah, I don't like big wingspan glider. Uh, for me, it's just not pleasant. And uh, this is just perfect because there is a lot more performance because it's bigger. And uh, it's not so big that it's a pain to fly. For me, at least. Um, so yeah, I, I know, sorry if I upset you, the F5J guys or bigger glider guys, but uh, it's not my thing. My thing is small glider, hey, you know. Minute. And I just took this thermal, look like. So just a quick reminder, it's only my third time flying with it, my third battery. So <laughs> uh, I, I can't say this is set up properly it's i'm exploring a bit the range of possibilities with this glider right now and right here i'm happy about it <laughs> it fly great there is perfectly no wind it's almost overcast and this glider just took this thermal really easily while i'm talking so yeah that's, that's great so yeah that's about the size of the glider for the rest the kit is just so easy to build <laughs> I, I, 
don't like to spend a ton of time building my gliders. I like to build gliders and to see the finished product, but to spend hours and hours and hours to build a glider is just not my thing. It's why I don't do scale gliders also. But this glider was one of the quickest I've ever built. Like, I don't know, two hours and a half, three hours maybe because I didn't know how to mount the motors correctly and it took me like almost an hour <laughs> so yeah it's you just put your servos in it put the motor make the CG where it should be and you're good to go that's it all the linkage are already done and you just, yeah it's so easy to build this, this is great and the quality of building uh, this glider is amazing this the LDS is amazing uh, I love it I, I just love it and also all the servos wiring in the wing and connection to the fuse, to fuselage is already done and the wires are pulled into the fuselage already also and this is freaking amazing uh, I, say, I know I say amazing a lot but it's not too much uh, I just appreciate this so much that I can't say anything else than amazing so, yeah, I, I think if you never built anything uh, as a performance glider, it might be one of the easiest ones to start with. And this is not a small thing to say. Okay, I didn't build any other F5J, but compared to an F3K, this is so easy. And I'm doing this, I don't know why, but I try. I'm like a wingspan height and uh, look like it's working right now yeah look like oh don't stall it's not the place to do that Six minutes. Woo, almost stalled so I will put the motor again but I didn't check what was the flying time, but felt good. Stop spinning, propeller. Yes, that's good. So, where are the oaks? Somewhere up there. <laughs> I don't know. I will surf a bit above the trees. This glider is gentle <laughs> it's, it's so great i love it i could fly this for hours it's just i love it and for how light it is i feel like it moves great but it's just so sensitive with the wings you feel everything that's happening in the air you, you just can feel everything and I love that <laughs> One minute. it's even more sensitive than my super light energy so my super light energy is 190 grams ready to fly just to remember you it's it's amazing how sensitive this thing is. I love it. <laughs> and I could fly for hours with it, so I will just try to catch this thermal, and uh, even if it's really, really weak. But yeah, after that, I will conclude the video. But I think you got it right now. I think you know I like it. I will do a review about this glider, obviously but I'm waiting to get everything 
I want to know about this glider before before I do a review about it because it's really new it's not like f3k when I where I know everything I talk about because I got so many models this one is only the second f5j uh, third f5j I fly uh, so it's really I'm not experienced in f5j so I need to fly a lot before I can say really anything I'm sure about but yeah as you can tell it's not difficult to fly tight turns you can do it yeah come on this is way too weak of a thermal to do that but it still managed to do not bad then maybe climbing a bit whoop don't stall oh i i didn't stall okay fast pass and then I will land. I never did that before. <laughs> it's quite cool, I need to say. 30, but this glider has so long legs. I need to make big turns, put the flaps. And land. 18, yeah! 17, did it! 16. So that's about it for today. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you like this type of content, uh, talking while flying, flight talk, let me know in the comment down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, everything that's good for the channel, like, comment, everything. And see you in the next video. Bye!